takes a lot of muscle. Two years ago, Lisa Tyre's life changed forever. The 18-year-old lost her leg in a car crash after drinking at a Labor Day party. They had to amputate it, and there wasn't enough good skin to cover my hip, so they had to take out my hip. Lisa also has an injury you can't see. I had really bad short-term memory, and all of my past was just like uh, it was foggy to me. The trauma from the crash caused permanent brain damage. Lisa no longer has the memory or judgment abilities needed to live on her own. And she's not alone. 1.5 million Americans sustain brain injuries every year, 144,000 of them here in Texas. Most of the injuries happen during July, August, and September. You don't have to be in a bad car wreck to suffer from a brain injury. In fact, doctors say it can happen by just falling off your bike. Nearly half a million people are hurt on their bikes every year. Two-thirds of them are kids. Lots more kids out of school. So what are these kids doing? They're riding bicycles, and they're um, at playgrounds, and they're with other care providers who don't always have the same level of skills. Oh, just like Gabriel. Dr. James Misko no specializes support. in treating brain injuries. Yeah. He says parents don't realize how severely a child can be hurt by bumping their head. The reason? The damage may not be seen for years. I have patients here in Central Texas who are 25 and 30 year old living in a nursing home for the rest of their life because they had a fall off a bicycle. Many of those injuries can be prevented. Wear a helmet. When worn correctly, they're 85% effective in preventing injuries. And never drink and drive. It's the number one cause of brain trauma. I could spend a lifetime thinking about, you know, what's wrong with me when I could spend my lifetime being glad for what I still do have. Celine MacArthur, KVU News.